wanderers upon the face of the earth. Patriots from Poland, nearing the end of one of the most amazing marches in history. 3,000 weary miles they've walked to find a haven of refuge. Some have babies that were born during the pathetic three-year flight from their homeland. A people who since 1939 have known war as perhaps no other people have known it. A people who have known hunger, starvation, a people ground to helplessness beneath the heel of Nazi oppression. From one little town in Poland, a thousand men, women and children fled from the Nazis into Russia. When the Nazis followed, they pushed on through mountain and desert, 3,000 miles to Persia, to a haven in Iran on the Caspian Sea. Here they found a promised land a refugee city of their countrymen deep in the foothills of the Transcaucasian Mountains. From British and American Red Cross stations, they receive fresh clothing, shoes to replace those worn ragged beyond recognition or repair. The first real home-cooked meal in years. Quickly, schools are formed that Poland's speech may never die. Mothers till the ancient soil of Persia, while father, son, and daughter leave to join new armies of the Polish government in exile. Legions of Polish women and legions of Polish men now forming to join the United Nations in the fight against the Axis. The prayers of their countrymen go with them. Prayers for their success and prayers for their safe return. Daily, little Poland in Persia grows as new arrivals swell their numbers. Reunion in Iran for families parted more than three years ago. The courageous people of Poland, staunch allies of the United Nations in the fight for freedom.